this is Quop, and it's probably one of the hardest games ever made. Come on, man. Is this, is this even possible? <sighs> how did I get to 4.7? And in this video, we're going to teach an AI how to beat this game. And if that doesn't sound hard enough, I want to get a top 30 speedrun, which means the AI has to reach the finish line in around 2 minutes. Now, if you haven't played the game, it was all the rage 10 years ago, and I'm pretty sure it's the reason so many people today have anger issues. You control this guy, and your goal is to run for 100 meters. The catch is, you can only control him using these 4 buttons on your keyboard. If you think that sounds easy, here's me playing the game. I have no idea how an AI will do this. Before we begin, we need a way for the AI to control our character. Now, in previous videos, I made the game from scratch, but since I want to compare my score to speedruns, I'll just make a quick script to automate the keystrokes in the browser. Also, I'm too lazy to make the game myself, but don't tell anyone. This does mean I can't pad out half the watch time by coding the game from scratch, but these are some sacrifices that we have to make. Now, for every AI we make, the AI will be taking in info such as the positions, rotations, and speeds of its different limbs, and the output of the AI will be which buttons to press at a given time. Let's get started with our first AI. The method we will use is called evolutionary algorithms. It's what I used in this video where I taught an AI how to beat Super Meat Boy. We basically create a population of 20 runners and throw them into the racetrack. When they either finish the race or fall down, we take the best 10 and make them have kids, and kill the ones that suck. I like to call this the North Korea method of training AI. I chose this method because it was great at training an AI to beat 8 levels of Super Meat Boy. So with high hopes, I set the AI for training overnight, and when I came back 10 hours later, this is what I saw. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, so the AI just flops around and falls down. And I think it's because the AI has like 20 brain cells. That's still 18 more than me, but not good enough for this game. So what do we do when our athlete fails? We do what every country does and give it a little bit of a boost. Our boost is called NEAT, which stands for Neuroevolution of Augmented Topologies. If you don't understand what that means, same. Basically, instead of creating one type of brain as we did earlier, Neat makes different shapes and sizes of brains and chooses the best shape based on evolution. It also adds cool concepts from biology like phenotypes and genotypes, crossovers, speciation, and niches. I'm sure you know what all those words mean, cause I sure do, which is why I'm not gonna explain them. Yeah. So armed with the power of biology, I started training the AI and after 3 hours of training, this is what it looked like. Without any other ideas, I let it train overnight, and what I saw in the morning shocked me. I can't believe it. It actually made it to the finish line. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Looks like through evolution, it figured out that the best way to survive is to stick close to the ground so you don't fall down and get brain damage. And we all know brain damage is not good. As impressive as this was, it took 5 minutes and this was nowhere close to being in the top 30 speedruns. Surprisingly, it still wasn't last on the leaderboard. And something makes me think not many people are speedrunning this browser game from 10 years ago. With my speedrun dreams shattered, I spent a lot of time in the shower crying in a fetal position. But through my tears, I had an amazing idea. And the amazing idea is called Imitation Learning. In Imitation Learning, all I have to do is provide the AI with examples of how it's supposed to run and it tries to copy what I do to get to the finish line. Now, if you are paying attention, which you should be, you might see a tiny problem with this. To teach the AI how to finish the game, I have to learn how to finish the game myself. Let's take another look at how well I can play this game. I hate my life. One. 
fatalities later. Hey everyone, sorry that took some time. I just got back from the hospital. I had to get my hand checked out because I punched a wall. Anyways, the good news is that I learned how to beat the game. The trick is to alternate between WO and QP. If you just keep repeating those two at the correct time, you can reach the end. Coincidentally, this is how I run to the bathroom after eating at Taco Bell. Now, I just spent a lot of time pressing these four buttons, but the only button that you need to press is the like button. Okay, now that I'm done begging for likes, I recorded myself finishing the game five times and then let the AI train by seeing these examples. Here's how the 30 hours of training went. I am so proud right now. I was honestly speechless when the AI managed to run its way to the end like a normal-ish human being. After 3 weeks of coding and training, our AI had finally done it. Let's take a look at our final run to see if we made it to the speedrun leaderboard.
I can't believe we actually made it to the top 30. This isn't too bad considering most humans can't even get past 5 meters. While making this video, I did find a legend who made an AI that beat the world record. Now, I could try and beat this score, but I've already spent 2 months on this project, so just be happy with top 30 and my subpar humor. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to see my AI beat another game, watch this video where I taught an AI how to beat Super Meat Boy.